today's society, black men and women, it's, it's almost like you're pitted against each other. It's always woman against man, black man against black woman, black man right. black woman against black man. Well, I'm better than you all, I don't need you. Well, I don't need you, but I can go find something better than you. It's always that thing in the black um, culture now. And I talk to world. a lot of my friends, a lot of uh, male and female, I hear the same thing. It's always something adversarial. We had some friends over the, um, uh, I think it was New Year's, but um, we had some friends over and the conversation came up and the women were like, well, da 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 I was in a house full of women, so mm -hmm. I had to listen. And um, this, it's just very adversarial. It's almost as if that's, there's an anger between black women and black men in our society. But the society, society itself, is and, and are you taking it's those battles? Are you, taking, are you taking those battles into your relationship? Mm -hmm. Are you taking yeah. those societal battles and letting them come into your relationship yeah. and letting it destroy your relationship? I think it's when, when when people meet, there's always a disguise that that you always show you your best have. side. Yeah, you always show your best side. And then, once you get to know each other, then you know you let your true colors out, and then it made me too late. <laughs> Even though this is 2008, women still have to. We still have a place. We still have to be submissive. We still have to be supportive of our man. We've gotten so independent. I don't need a man. I'm working. I'm doing my job. I got my house. Probably 70% of women, single women, from the age of 25 to 35 to 40 have their own house and paying their own mortgage. Okay, right. So, so what does that so, mean? So with that, at me like I'm right, crazy. Right. So if you don't come correct and you look and you come and you come to me, I am going to What's correct? What's correct? What's correct? What's correct? Your own house. And he has it. Good credit. And, and he I'm, has just, it. I'm just keeping yeah, it real. Keep good it credit. Because he's got all of those. Okay. In fact, he's the and only one with all of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of men when they got money in Atlanta, because this is where we live, in Atlanta. You know, they have so much money and there's so many women to men right. that they can do what they want to do for such a long time. They can run around and be with all the pretty girls and do this and do that. Then they go get the prettiest girl so you think and go it, marry them. My experience <laughs> is that, uh, you know, a lot of times you, you, you come into a situation, once again, it's the newness of everything. And uh, what was it, Al? You said that it's like a facade in the beginning, in the early stages. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, you know, bones start falling out the closet. And it's like, I'm not ready to deal with this. I'm not, well, no, no, I'm not I'm gonna deal with, deal with this. Right. From what I see, a lot of white women, they know they're wrong. I'm not saying black women don't know they're wrong. But white women, I am. they know they're wrong. In a lot of cases, I'll take the heat on that. that I'll say that now, a lot. They, they don't know they're wrong. speaking, because I'm a Christian, they know that they, what they're supposed to do, and they do that. How many black soccer moms do you see? Oh, no. that, uh, I'm just I'm just using uh, an example. Right women know that they get married. They oh, that they get married. Oh, oh, they that. do what they're supposed to do to take care of the household, and that's it. They don't give their their husbands uh, grief and drama when they come and home. And they get fat at 35. Fine, yeah. but they happy. <laughs> okay, but that's all. <laughs> <what I'm> <laughs> With black women, everything is so superficial. Black women uh, worry about the society. Y'all right, y'all worried about everything outside of what's the core and importance of your relationship. Quick to listen to what your friends uh, are saying and what your man is saying. Make <laughs> me happy. Don't make your friends happy. Not, not all. Not all. I'm not gonna say all. Not all. I mean, nothing can you can't place anything well, on everybody just in general life. But I mean, right. like, we working with all of us know this is a majority rule. Period. In most cases, anybody you run into, in most cases, I bet you you can pin most of these things on the black woman. Good, evil. How do you know the difference? Absolutely. All right. Um, I mean, that's just the way it is. I agree. And I'm speaking from experience. If it had not been for my previous relationship before meeting my wife, and that woman being just like that woman that was acting like that, <laughs> Tanya. All right, Tanya. Tanya. I, would, I, would, I would not. Be, hey, I would not have been able to appreciate my wife. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She taught me something. I was smart enough and mature enough, even though I went through hell with that woman. Right. I was smart enough and mature enough to take the positive out of that. She taught me what I needed to know about myself. Good. And what was I, necessary I, I to, to, yeah. To, yeah. To, to sustain a relationship and to be married. Because I knew I wanted to be married, but I knew that woman was not for me. Is independence a factor? I think it is. As a single woman who is independent, you've got the struggle of meeting people and you got to figure out what they want from you. A lot of guys are nowadays kind of want to live off of you. I want to move in. You kind of take care of me. And then it's just a struggle when you get everything. Like, he, if he has a house, you have a house. It's People's lives are getting so independent that it's hard to come together. Women have to have their have to have a moral center. 
but the men also have to have their moral center. Absolutely. So if you're going to go out there as a woman and you're looking to get with a guy, it's a joint venture. Start, I mean, heck, he's going to interview you, you interview him. Find out where his moral center is. Don't look for some, you know what I mean, in all honesty, don't look for someone who says, yeah, I'm ready for marriage. No, you got to be ready to marry a person. You just can't be ready for marriage. It's the same thing with women. Oh, I'm marriage minded. Well, good. You go find marriage and marry. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you got to be ready to marry. I wasn't ready to be married until I met Katara. This is when I became ready to be married. So when you, I mean, when you're out there talking to people, interview them, find out what their moral center is. What, what are they really about? Like wanting to be married and ready to be married heart. are two different things. Exactly. Yeah.